seeing more and more patients who are coming in and deciding that they want to take their implants out after sometimes just a few years and sometimes after many, many years. But there are as many reasons as there are types of patients. I have patients who basically have had enough of them, have had them for 20 years, have gained weight, had a menopause, they don't really want them anymore. I've had patients who have had abnormal mammograms and are concerned that they're not getting enough imaging and maybe being talked to by their physicians that maybe they should consider removing the implants to get better imaging. When we take an implant out, we have to decide what procedure we're going to do next. A lot of the patients I will stage. In other words, if they have a saline implant, a water-filled implant, I can simply, in the office, do an in-office deflation. So a lot of patients will deflate the implant um, and then wear a bra, wear it for maybe a month or so. They'll see some changes. The breast will improve a little bit and then they can make a decision because now they can see the body they may not have seen for 15 or 20 years. With the silicone implant, it's not quite as easy because you have to make that decision before you go to surgery or stage it. In other words, we remove the implant, do the same thing, live with it for a short period of time. In addition to thinking about what the breasts are gonna look like, what's really important is why is the implant being removed? So if somebody has capsular contracture where there's a calcified or a hard capsule around the implant, or they have pain, or the implant's malposition, it's in the wrong spot, there are other things that may need to be done. So the reason you're removing it is important. In my office, I have an ultrasound, so I ultrasound patients. We're able to detect whether or not they have a ruptured implant or it's just a fold. I can see how thick the capsule is. I can see what pocket the implant is in, whether it was behind the muscle, in front of the muscle. The ultrasound gives us a lot of information in advance. I don't charge my patients. It's part of our preoperative planning. One of my concerns is when the patient comes in who has been reading on social media what exactly she needs to do to get rid of her implants. It is your choice what you would like to do when you remove your implants. However, in our best judgment, you wanna do what is safe and what is not outrageously expensive and doesn't leave a patient deformed. It is your choice when you remove your implants, but go by evidence-based medicine.